when we free semen in our lab, we, uh, we don't, a lot of producers will adjust the number of straws per dose based on the post cell motility. So they'll freeze at a given concentration, and then based on the post cell motility, they'll, re they'll either increase or reduce the number of straws per insemination dose to give a specific number of modal sperm after thawing. So for one uh, ejaculate today, it might be four straws per dose. For an ejaculate that's frozen on Friday, it might be six because on Friday the motility was 35% and today it was 45%, so they adjust. We don't do that. Number one, I think it's confusing. Number two, not always do the uh, distributed doses come with the data that tells you how many straws are supposed to be per dose. Um, what we do rather is to, uh, and, and I don't really feel like you can do that confidently based on just motility alone. You really would only do that based on fertility. And we freeze semen at, this, at a uh, standard eight straw per insemination dose. So any dose that anyone gets frozen by an SPS lab should be eight straws per dose. That's what our recommendation is. That is gonna be somewhere between 800 million and a billion total sperm. It's not because we can't accurately tell how many are in there, it's because we adjust it in between those two numbers based on the morphology and the post motility that we typically get from that stallion. So a stallion who has poor morphology and a stallion who has marginal post motility we're going to increase the concentration of sperm in the extended semen, still use eight straws, but because the concentration is higher, the number of total sperm is higher, and the number of modal and functionally normal sperm is higher. But every single insemination dose is eight straws. Now, you might argue, well, what if the motility is really good? What about that horse who's 50, 60% post thought progressive motility? and you freeze them at 800 million total sperm in a dose. When I thought I've got 400 or 500 million mobile sperm that I'm putting in the mirrors and I get good fertility. If the fertility is good, and proven good fertility, then what some people will then do is reduce the number of straws per insemination, but only after demonstrating good fertility. The fertility varies from stallion to stallion and it's a measure of its individual inherent fertility. So we would never recommend reducing the number of straws per dose, cutting doses in half, and, and taking any of those measures.